All right, let's get going. I believe this is the game that's a little weird where square is the menu button and triangles jump. I am alpha and omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. My little tablet's like a couple seconds behind, you know? I hear this screaming succubi. Or succubus. I don't even remember this. Technology. Ugly corded phones. Those weren't even tangle free ones. See that all civilians and passengers are safely transported to the escape ship. I was hundred percent thinking I'm like, this is the open star ocean. Evacuation is complete. I am evacuating the ship. All of you. Evacuate now. Everybody get off the Calness. Evacuate. Evacuate the ship immediately. All passengers please be the shuttles in a calm and orderly fashion. I'll find all you bitches today. That's what they pay him for diabetes. You have a flask? Aw. I have to find my flask. just watch this so I think the whole thing I learned is I have to be a lot uh, a lot more careful guarding video games don't just keep hitting X when you start the game <laughs> doesn't make it go faster you just lose out on cutscenes I'm gonna beat this game on stream three times. 
in the last three years. I don't know how much of a kid I was. They're bright white. I wonder if that's called, is that like a technique fade to bright white blinding white? The continent of Ignis in the northern hemisphere of our world. On this, the largest continent, a world has been raging, a war has been raging between countries for hundreds of years. In the north of the continent lies the Kisa of Empire, and in the south lies the desert kingdom of Ava. The war has gone on for so long that people have forgotten the cause, knowing only the pointless circle of hostility and tragedy. Okay. I actually have to progress that. I wanted to wait a second so I didn't have to, like, you know, read as fast as possible. The chronic war obsession was soon to encounter devastating change. This was due to the ethos, an institution that preserves our world's culture. Repairing tools and weapons excavated from the ruins of an ancient civilization had at once both countries excavated these ruins and had the ethos repair the discoveries in order to increase their military power. I got a, another silly thing. So, like, one of my least favorite ideas behind games is everything is a, uh... Oh, what are they called? Uh, spiritual successors? I hate that term. Like, just, it's, it's bad. The various weapons excavated from the ruins greatly changed the form of warfare. The outcome of the battles between the two countries was no longer determined by man-to-man -man combat, but by gears. Giant humanoid fighting machines that were obtained from deep within the runes. So this game has a lot of, you know, this is supposed to be the first Final Fantasy VII. This is actually, you know, uh, it was supposed to be like an eight game series. It was supposed to be this, it was supposed to be that. The last one I read was, uh, because of Final Fantasy spirits within the movie, we didn't get a sequel to Xenogears. I'm like, okay, let's keep going for everything. Eventually, after continuous swings in the state of the war, Kisa have gained the upper hand. The major factor behind this lay in the enormous difference in the amount of resources buried within their rooms. But suddenly, a mysterious military force appeared on the continent of Ignis called Gebler. This force decided to make contact with Ava. I think the actual... Oh, I have to find it, but it was relatively recently. Because, you know, there is a lot of... I don't want to say mystery. Maybe a little bit of mystery about, like, why the second disc sucks. Or, which I actually don't mind it at all, but why it was changed so much, it was a rush job, they ran out of money, etc, etc. With the assistance of this Gelbar military force, Ava was able to recover from being hopelessly outnumbered to being back on an even stand of peace. Then, taking further advantage in its new, newly gained momentum, Ava started to capture one territory after another from Kisa, showing no indication of slowing down in their invasion campaign. But I'll find the interview later on. Maybe. Like I said, it was a little more recently. The guy's like, yeah, we were given two years. We couldn't do it in the time. The remote village of Lahan in the outskirts of Ava near the border of Kislev. And he made the choice of actually finishing the game he did as opposed to leaving it unfinished. Which I can respect. This is where it all begins. Even if it is mostly a storyboard to boss. And a system. And no more fighting outside of gears, sadly. Which that combat's really fun. Like, I don't mind gear combat, but it's definitely a lot more simple. I don't know if this is the first time I put this in duck stick. Damn you. Because I think it was EPXE gave the issues of like reflecting movies like this whenever I had the way the way one. I just want to do this That's one down. I just the sound effects are so ingrained in me, it's insane. If you don't know that little simple punch punch. What on earth are you? No matter how often I knock you down, you still get up. What are you doing, Doc? Hey! Stop! You must not fight here.
Or are you persistent? Or the shout are the shots that are the same sound effect for everybody? Oh, I do like this game. Damn it, how come? Why did it have to come to this? You'll be happy, old on. I was playing more of the uh, Sega Frontier 2. I was getting lost in, well, I think I lost Forest. <laughs> Or a grand bridge. Oh, I'm gonna finish it for sure. It just didn't mesh too well with the streaming, so sorry. Phew, that about does it. I never made any promises I would beat everything on stream. Alright, now for a short break. Yeah, and I get to spin cameras. Ahem! her favorite game because the main character is an artist. Some triangles jump. Oh, some of these are nice. Maybe the cobwebs. Whoa. I am an artist. Spiderweb. I kind of want to cheat for the rock paper, uh, rock, paper, scissor badge too. Hello, Faye. You're looking well today. I have the time flies. Why, has it already been three years since you came to our village? When they first saw you brought in all bloody and soaken. To tell you the truth, they didn't think you were going to make it. That strange masked man who carried you here that day. You really think maybe he was your real father? Don't you remember anything? Why, they say you had terrible nightmares and constantly called out for your father. Well, don't remind me. No, I'm definitely going to have a night, lady. Is it? Who are you? What? You want me to look after this boy? He's at that dangerous age, though. But now you're so healthy and strong. Oh, where's this going? And it's all thanks to our village chief, Lee. Hi. Should you be grateful? Odd pause. Going on, Anki. You know, Faye, I'm sure that our village chief thinks you of you as his own grandson. Not having any family for all those years and living on his own for oh so long, they care so very much uh, dearly about you. But he's never doing anything that would break his old heart. You promise me that, Faye. So this is actually the similar to how Star Ocean Five does conversations in events. So you can actually start talking to somebody. And for whatever reason, uh, once an event starts, you're just allowed to run around freely. It's very silly. Yo, hi there, Faye. There for all of us using your house like this. But we have to talk about the big day tomorrow with the village chief. Yeah, tomorrow, huh? Your wedding with Alice. Now that is a big day. Yeah, right. But it still hasn't hit me as reality, though. Hey, uh, Timothy, I just want to thank both you and Alice. Three years ago, I woke up in this village without a trace of my memory. I didn't know who I was, where I had been, or what I had been doing up until that day. I couldn't recall a single thing. Despite that, you and Alice sympathized with me and encouraged me to go on. Go on, Palma. If the two of you hadn't been there for me, I don't know what would have become of me. Timothy, from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. Now you and Alice had better live happily ever after. <laughs> but will ya? I don't have to go and get all mushy on me. Anyway, to me it feels like I've always been friends with you ever since we were kids. Oh, I wanted to tell you actually specifically, Balmung. You know your judgment game? I'm lurking? Like you just learned the term? I don't run for a bit. Um... Your judgment game is actually on the PS Now thing that I grabbed. I can actually play it. And now we'll go on being friends forever, right? Of course. Oh yeah, Faye, could you stop by and check on Alice? 
I still have stuff to discuss with my old man and the village chief. I'm sure she'll be glad to have some company. Enjoy it, it's fun. Don't tell me what the hell to do. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Anyway, I'll see you later. And I'm really looking forward to the ceremony tomorrow. Hope you have a good time playing games. Oh there, Faye. Our Timothy is a really lucky boy to be able to marry such a beautiful grill like Alice. Hope you come up with some embarrassing tales to tell in your speech. Alice's his uncle. Hmm. I don't know whether to be happy or sad. Tomorrow, little Alice is going to become someone's wife. I knew this day would come. This is the worst part of bringing up a little girl. Ah, oh, sorry. Oh, it's you, Faye. We're in the middle of discussing Timothy and Alice's wedding arrangements. Why don't you bring a girlfriend or two home once in a while? Because you live with an old man like me doesn't mean you have to hold back now. You hear? Why? When I was as young as you were, it seemed like every day I would... Um. <clears throat> uh, never mind. Now, we still have important things to discuss. So, don't get in the way now. The village chief is talking about slapping cheeks. Oh, it's you, you little bastard. So, there you are. Faye, I have to talk to you about something. Oh, hello there, Dan. You're lively today, as you are every day. Dan? Don't be so rude. What's this barge in and all? Ah, Timothy's here too. What out, Timothy? Till you marry my sister, you have nothing to do with me at all. Let's have some business here with my friend Faye. Anyway, Faye, I, uh, I have, s I have something to talk to you about later. What is it, Dan? It sounds serious. Yeah, that's why I can't talk about it here. There's a certain person listening who could cause us trouble. Really important. We gotta talk, seriously. One on one, man to man. I'll be hanging around outside, so I'll see you there later, okay? Uh, Dan is actually secretly a princess. Be seeing you, Timothy. Take care of yourself until tomorrow, which I'll show you much, much later into the game if you're around for that jazz. Actually, Ghost, have you played this game? All among you actually won a duel. Not time. Huh? What's up with that? Oh, I'll end up showing you anyways. I just gotta remember. Because it's probably 25 hours away. As of tomorrow, I'm going to be that kid's brother-in-law. Yeah, that part isn't going to be no honeymoon. I'd have a, but it was a long time. Ah, I really like the game. Like, I... It's a little difficult to stream in some areas because the conversations are... It's a very wordy game. Like, I mean, I've played visual novels that are less wordy than this game. And then the payoff for just one particular part that I hate. Imagine uh, reading for four hours about what you're going to do on a plan, and, <clears throat> and then they just ignore the plan and do something else. Like, why did we just talk for four hours? But there's lots of really cute little stuff in this. Like, they yell at you for... Oh no, don't waste perfectly good food like that. I mean, Tor. Oh, uh, huh? Oh, it's you, Faye. What do you want? I'm at my age, I've been able to live in peace. We're going in the well. Phew, that was a close one. Well, it's dangerous. Perhaps it's better if I don't go near it again. Well done. You found a weird item. I don't remember what it is. Ah, we got an eyeball. I don't know if you can get anything else. Oh, the letter pissed me off just the ending. Well, probably chapter... What was it, like chapter 6, 7, and 8? When they started to get very odd, uh, like when they just kind of ran out of editing, and so the sentences didn't flow nicely, and a lot of typos. Which, I mean, I'm, I don't want to be like that kind of person. But if your game is a visual novel, you kind of got to worry a little bit about 
the novel part of it, you know? What are you doing, kitty? Well, if it isn't Faye, isn't it exciting to know that Timothy's wedding is going to be tomorrow? I think it's time for you... I think it's time you found a wonderful girl like Alice for yourself. By the way, Faye, what do you think of Lahan? I like it. I like this place. Lahan, I like it. The village leader chiefly has taken such good care of me for full shortness story. I wish. So, uh, the letter... And, like, I don't really want to knock it, because it's one of those indie games that hit it relatively big, I guess. I streamed for 40... Five hours, I want to say. It's the longest game I ever played on stream. Um, not like excluding Castlevania runs and stuff like that. I think Danganronpa is the second longest at like 42. When I was looking it up. Because I even beat Final Fantasy XII faster than that. And uh, it just got a little weak towards the end. And the actual ending was... Well, I mean, I don't want to spoil it for people, but it was freaking awful. The village leader chiefly has taken such good care of me. Everyone in the village was warmly has warmly accepted me. Imagine, imagine the. Uh, don't listen if you don't want the game spoiled. Like it's obviously you can draw some parallels from what I'm going to tell you. The ring. Like, you know, the movie The Ring, girl comes out of the screen, all that good jazz, seven days, blah, 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 blah. Well, imagine you could solve the ring by just turning off the TV. That's the kind of impact the ending has. Regardless of where I may have been born or raised, Lahan is now my home. Ah, yes. It makes me happy to hear just that. Here, take this as an allowance. Don't squander it all at once. You get money? Hell yeah. So the ride itself was pretty fun, except the ending we kind of started to crash and then we hit a wall really hard. I, I don't generally recommend it. But then my buddy, he likes getting endings to games, so he played it a thousand times to get all the endings. Why hello there, Faye. You here to see Alice? I actually YouTube the true ending and streamed it that way. Because I was sure as hell wasn't going to go through 40 more hours. <laughs> actually, it's customary that we don't let any men in to see the bride today, but you can be an exception. Is it because I have a ponytail? Being a little toxic. But I think in the letter M actually was the character Emmy. Weren't you? Or you were the pissed off Irish girl that slept with the guy right away. Hello, Alice. Is that your wedding dress? Oh. Hey, you startled me. Yes, it is. I just finished it. It took more work than I expected. Hmm. You did a great job there. Yeah, that was a surprise for a game that wasn't really, like, you know, sexy times at all. The biggest surprise was, mind you, I played the I played the game for like 40 hours, and there was a quick time event. I'm like, what the fuck? There was no, there was not a single quick time event for 40 hours, and then one popped up and I died because, well, I don't know, I wasn't expecting a quick time event. It'll look wonderful on you, Alice. Congratulations. Like they got me good. Thank you. Hey, uh, Alice? Oh, um, hey? What is it? Oh, nothing. That's when M, we got the infamous M punched a child. I see. Which is a good clip. Um, oh yes, that's right. Hey, have you seen Dan? No, oh, and M, he's most probably outside gas bagging right now. Oh, that kid, I just told him that I had an errand for him to run. Oh yeah? What kind of errand? If you'd like to, sure. I always like that one. All right, wedding ceremony tomorrow. I was hoping he could go borrow a camera and some lights from Dr. Izuki. Up on the mountain peak, it's dark! If that's all it is, I'll be glad to do it for you. Would you? Oh, but I couldn't possibly. Don't worry, it's no problem. 
Anyways, it doesn't exactly make me feel comfortable having Dan handle such delicate instruments. What's more, I might have a chance to eat some of Yui's uh, cooking if I go to the docks place. Hold that up in a moment. Wait, wait, don't start playing. You shh. That's my Fey. It was when M was new to the stream. Well, I'll go up there now and get them for you. Oh, hey, wait. Huh? I'll put it up after this little scene. Is there something else you want to get from Saitam? No, it's not that. Everything's going full circle. What's going on, Borg? Borg, this was the first game you chatted in here. Um, no, it's not that. Hey, have you ever thought about things this way? If if you had only been born in this village, Devil Trips? Oh God, Borg. Yeah, both you and. Uh, Visage. It was your first time. Well, first time chatting in the stream. I don't know if you were around earlier. But it was right at the tournament event in Xenogears. I remember I was like running around fish tanks and stuff. Oh, it's nothing. I'm sorry. What's going on, Trance? How are you doing, buddy? Well, I think I had better get going now. Oh, okay. Be careful on the mountain path and give my, gar uh, my regards to Dr. Ozuki. Trance was an easy one to remember. First time I saw him was in Legend of Logaya. Might have been like my second stream ever. I don't know, third stream ever, maybe. Is this fate? I feel so foolish. Who am I kidding? Alright, let me pop up the ME one now. I was very nervous when I did my first stream too. I triple... Always made sure I had everything set up perfectly. It was just funny, I was, uh, M popped up an old letter one we were talking about. And then Borg popped in, which Borg, this is the first game he was in my stream on two years ago. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this window. I think this show, yeah, it's showing, right, right? RDT World, hello, welcome. We are currently solving an issue in chat. And, and tried to lie. Uh, this is Emmy, the world famous one. And I'm pretty sure you guys can read what it says. Because what does it say? Pretty sure it says punch the child. So one of our famous people wants a child punched. And that's the letter. It was the most fun part of the letter. Where are this? Menu bar, get rid of you. <laughs> it was, uh. I have filters on now. I can turn them down more if you want to. Oh, my brother did that forever. I think I told her, made mention of it. Just talk slower to lower his voice. I'm like, Harley, you sound like you're a knucklehead. Not a good, uh. Not a great trade-off. Uh, it's all the scotch and cigars. Oh, hi, Faye. Welcome. The big day is finally approaching, huh? Alice and Timothy's wedding is tomorrow. Hey, Borg. Get some... No, I can't say the R word. Get some sleep. I'll give them a stamina drink of courage and love. What do you think? Oh, my. Come on, you gotta give them a present here. We're the only ones. The only shop in town, you know? I bought so many Omega Souls. So many. I'm like, why would I not buy these? You restore all your health and EP, which is just MP in this game. Ethos points, maybe? Ether points? Thanks again. Come by anytime. 
And they're cheaper than the other items. I'm like, why not? Because you're going to use them outside of battle. Oh. Mm. I think before I talked to him. I didn't know you got a new desk. Are you talking about your big rig one? Oh, good, Faye. You ready to talk? As you know, tomorrow is finally the day of my sister's wedding. Oh, okay. I'll be happy to see that. I'll harass you later. Don't worry. Not right now, though. So, what I want to talk to you about is exactly that. Alice's marriage. Faye, to be perfectly honest with you, I've always wished you could have been my brother. It's still not too late. You could go steal Alice and run off with her. If you need me to help, I'll be glad to. Poor Dan. It may be odd for me to say this, but my sister is beautiful and a good cook. And this is just between you, me, or you and me, but he's well in doubt too. <clears throat> Dad! So come on, go for it. Let's let's do it. All right, Dan, you've got it. I guess I'll just go sweep Alice away and make a run for it. Really? I knew I liked you, Faye. That's the spirit. Princess Dan, the wingman. But if only it was that easy. It's not like we can change their feelings, and you would need to have love for her too. I'm not going to forget this, Faye. You're really willing to go that far to help me. But you're a good guy. I mean, I don't know, Dan. For whatever reason, I think you end up not liking me a little bit. Do you mean anything? This is Village Consultant's house. He can do all kinds of things. Before you step outside of our village, might be wise. Okay, let's let me go. I don't want to talk to you. This game has the longest, like, save screen. Eleven, well, twelve seconds or so. When it comes to fighting technic use, I tend to be extremely fussy. I've started to study up on them recently. How about it? You want to hear what I have to say? Oh. Oh wow! You can never be too old to study. Uh, there are mountains of things to learn when you're there, young. What is this? Big when... man win. Their camera broken on the call. Yeah, yeah. I'm the village consultant, but to tell you the truth, the village chief knows far more than I do. However, the chief is an awfully busy person, so I have been placed in charge of answering some of the more mundane questions. This is special for this week. We are lecturing on the techniques of martial arts. Martial arts? Self-defense. Wouldn't you like to learn about it? Nope. See you anyway, so free to ask you anything. I didn't even know this house existed. What do you do? Oh, good, good. You're lucky. You came just at the right time. Got the memory cube, then don't hesitate to ask me. No one knows it better than I do. Eh. What? You won't hear me what I have to say? Don't you want to know? The logical, comprehensible, and downright beautiful lecture given by me, the one and only great Luca, can only do you good. How will you ever know unless you hear it out? What a waste. Well... <laughs> Don't come crying to me when you run into trouble. Oh, it's Chrono Trigger. More references in there than in Chrono Cross. Did you know that you can spin the world around with the L1 and R1 buttons? I'm sure you'll see things you weren't able to before. It's what world by using your own eyes and ears. This is how you make the gains in your life truly your own. If you're lost, then be lost. There's no need to rush, is there? Or do you have to explore the world using someone else's maps? Was that a slight for someone buying the guides to this game? Oh, there's... Unfortunately, I skip a lot of the dialogue. The optional dialogue in this game. Is this the mountain map? People on. But it's one of the coolest things is how much... just dialogue they have in this damn game. Between that and it changes depending on what time you're playing in the game. 
and the little stories that tie together. Good stuff. We can do about the jumping puzzles. Those are not my favorite. I don't think I can do anything with free anyway. One of the ways you actually learn the moves is I believe some are actually uh level locked. Dr. Archer after the bridge. Alright, let's go. We gotta find a bird or something, maybe. But you have to see certain animations in battle, and that is what you get experience for. Dakazuki's house is over the bridge and up to the north. Like, your triangle move has three different... Oh, I shouldn't say that. It has multiple animations. As I'll do all triangles and show you real quick. But each one of those counts in experience to learning a move. So you have to get, you know, triangle two multiple times. They broke down how you get the experience for it, and it is... it's insane. Pretty much just use whatever move you want to use, and you'll eventually get it. <laughs> so, like, my first move is going to be Triangle and then a finisher of X. This is a little annoying because you actually can continue running. And you can't jump. Like, I'll just walk and jump for a bit. Right. Not fall off the cliff. But, like, right now I was trying to jump and I couldn't. They still let you walk like five feet, even though you couldn't jump. So you'll fall off events when there's an enemy encounter, because enemy encounters are delayed for whatever reason. If you're playing on an actual PlayStation, you can hear it. You can actually hear when you're going to get into a uh, an enemy encounter, which makes it a little easier to not jump when your disc makes the world sound. I'm currently playing Discless, so... Sounds very close to being inappropriate. But he's an absolute beast in this game. I don't think they did a particularly great job at balancing the characters, because you get him, who's a stat monster, and you get someone who looks like they would be a crazy animal named Rico. And he has less health. He has less everything than you. That poor guy. He's the only character that really, really lacks development, I would say. Because they spend a decent amount of time talking about almost all the characters. Yeah. And his starts out very nice. Well, you could definitely see it was going to be a, a good story arc. Instead, they give him an ugly-looking robot. What is this? Give me you. Go. Knew it was somewhere around there. I can feed Choo Choo these things, and you get other items. You need other jerks. Saitan, who is easily the best character in the game. Pretty much at all stages of the game. Like, as soon as you think he's starting to get weak, they give him something that bumps up his power an insane amount. I'm like, okay. He heals better than the healers. He does magic better than them. I, it's silly. He's very, very fast. He unlocks all elemental combos. I don't know if they all do. Oh, for sure. Like I said, I think just casually playing the game, he's probably the strongest. But you can do other things like put on power... I think power belt? 
And like later on in Esmeralda, uh, you can do some crazy ether things. And same like if you save up 40 grand or something in the beginning and you get the ether doublers, you can make, you know, anyone who uses that really strong. Injured sick, all accepted. Come on in. But no deceased, please. But I would say just casually playing. He's the most simple, out of the box, strong one. Kind of like TG said of, you know, tactics. But yeah, you can make stronger characters, but pretty damn strong as soon as. Oh, I know. She has probably the best uh, fighting form. Or my favorite one. Oh, Faye, welcome. Hello, Yui. Where's Doc? My husband is tinkering with his... Tinkering with his junk out in the backyard. It's all... Should have guessed. Doesn't he ever get sick of playing with that stuff? Okay, then. I'll go out into the backyard and see if I can find him. You don't know the one. I'm a dory. It's a nice day to play outside. Probably feed the birds later. Where are you, Doc? What's going on? Rico, I don't even think. Even this robot looks like a giant garbage can. This is no good. Why have they used such inferior parts? This is why their intervention strat. Doc! Well, that's where you were. Oh, Faye. Good to see you. You alright, Doc? What are you doing all the way up there? I thought I would try to restore this land crab. When well, that explosion was nothing to worry about. It happens all the time. Did you wait a while? I was just about ready to call it a day. Oh yes, there is something interesting in the storm. Why not take a look? Okay, Doc. I will. Please hurry up. Please don't tell me it was me reading about beating your... He's tinkering with his... Tinkering with his junk out in the backyard. It'll get dark before you know it. Thank you, Anki. So this is what the doc was talking about. Let me see. What's so interesting about it? Wow. This game's pretty easy to break with money. Actually, I can probably say money is the most important thing in this game. Your robots, well, they do get some stat differences based on your character level or character stats. It's mostly buying equipment. Well, what is this? And later on, you can actually just buy stats. So, crazy. One of the few RPGs I know that money actually really matters. Early on, like, I'm going to try to pick up this music. I've heard it before somewhere. I'm going to try to pick up a couple uh, magnetic coats, because they're only sold for a brief amount of time in the game. What do you think? Not bad, huh? And they are game-breakingly good. Doc. Hello again, Faye. I'd have kept you waiting. I'm sure you do, Anki. I'm not a big fan of it. Because it always means something really sad's going to happen. Music is a mysterious thing. Sometimes it makes people remember things that they do not expect. Many thoughts, feelings, memories, things almost forgotten. Regardless of whether the listener desires to remember them or not. Mark, what is this? It was excavated from some old runes and is still under repair. Obviously it is an audio device of some type. Long ago, people would listen to this melody. Just as we are doing now. At times they would have been cheered up, while at times they would have been made to cry. By the way, what brings you here today? Like bagpipes. Like any time this or bagpipes are playing, something's already way more sad than it has to be. Oh yeah, that's right. 
Alice asked me to borrow some camera equipment from you. Oh yes, her wedding is tomorrow, right? Understood. Well, we had better get them ready then. Oh, and dinner should be ready soon. Would you like to join us? Would I ever? I was hoping you would ask. I still have some cleaning up to do out here. Would you mind giving Midori some company back in the house? Okay, take your time, Doc. I'll go ahead and eat when dinner is ready. <laughs> go right ahead. Not be held responsible if you get a, a stomach ache from eating my wife Yui's cooking. Doc? Strange when I listen to this music. I feel something warm inside. Okay, it's natural at that age, it just happens. It just may be because you have someone living inside of you. And he too must have liked this music a long time ago before he became a part of you. Hey, Doc, saying weird shit. Timothy and Alice's wedding really tomorrow? It might actually be better to live an ordinary life in this condition. As a son of a man. Well, anyway, I suppose I'd be I better adjust the uh, gyro at least. Huh? I really like. I should I change her? She's kind of like my favorite character. This cannot be. I kind of feel bad I always use the same couple of people. Is is this an omen? What's going on, Vondervox? Thanks for a shout on the defense. Welcome, Raiders. I'm Kenner Oli. He doing my PSX tour. Just started Xeno Gears. How was the rest of your house flipping? Now, what is going to happen? It's tough not to use that Team Balmung. That's who I always use. Hmm, that was good. Your cooking never fails to impress me, Yui. Thank you for such a delicious meal. You're welcome. If you like my cooking that much, then I'd be happy to cook for you any time, Faye. I'll bring the equipment you need to the village tomorrow morning, myself. It does not exactly make me com uh, feel comfortable to have to have you handle such delicate instruments, I'm afraid. Heard that line before. What was the other team we agreed on? Final Fantasy VII, maybe? That's alright by me. Well, see you tomorrow, Doc. Good night, Yui. Midori. Good night. We're looking forward to tomorrow's wedding. Well, see? That means you were right twice. Congratulations, Balmung. Stick around and listen for more tips on how to play RPGs good like I do. Well, good night, Doc. I'm gonna die so many times because of that. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yes, good night. Oh, Faye, please be careful. I mean, the path is dangerous when it is so dark. What's wrong, Doc? I did die last time I played this game. There is nothing to worry about. Well, anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. It was a fantastic death, too. Very happy about it. It was my, uh, the Bart suicide death. Have you ever played this game, Vondervox? Wait, did I get the chest down there? One of my favorites. What's that? There's so much to do in this game, too. Wait, did I miss a chest over there? Uh, I never like using Billy. Like, if you had to fight as people more, maybe Billy would be alright, because he's, you know, an amazing healer. Giants? But he's kind of overkill for that. Fey? His weapons are stupidly strong. Doc, some fine objects went toward Lahan. His robots is so stupid looking. So you saw them too? <laughs> Oh, 
Judging by their shadows, they appear to be a group of gears from our neighbor country, Kislev. Those were gears? Oh, that's just my cousin stepped on it out of spite. Aw. Oh no, they are headed directly towards Lahan. The ones I just saw? Let's make haste. Right. Okay, where the hell is Lahan? Let's go. I know, I was talking about that earlier. Poor Blanca. He gets no love in this game. He starts out very cool. It's just... No, Lahan's... He's the chopper of this game. Like, we're gonna give you one little... series of cool episodes and they're gonna be useless for the rest of the game. What the hell's that thing? Oh, he likes candy. Don't worry. Alice? Timothy? Dr. Zuki? Bay? Donkey? They just came out of nowhere and landed right in our village. I know. What on earth are they doing starting a battle here? Are you alright? Hey, okay, he's the Congo of this game with the stats of... Actually, I don't... He has, like, Maru's strength and Albert's magic. He's just... I don't know why they made him so bad. Are y'all okay? Yes, but it's Dan. And he doesn't even have high health. I'll go look one more time. Alice, go ahead and get out of the village. Now, Timothy, wait. You and Alice and the rest of the villagers should evacuate to a safer location. Ah, you know I can't just leave Dan behind. Dan doesn't even like you, Timothy. I understand how you feel, but leave the rest up to me, uh, to Faye and me. The primary thing you should be concerned with is your own safety. And Blanca's, or I keep on Blanca too now, thanks. Rico's moves are awesome looking. I like all the wrestling moves. Timothy, your responsibility is to protect Alice. But, <laughs> it's just as Doc says, the two of you should get out of the village now. Don't worry about Dan. Knowing him, he's already evacuated and is waiting for you. I guess you're right. Okay, Alice, let's let Dr. Izuki and Faye handle it from here. Yes, okay. Thank you, Doctor. But Faye? But Faye, please look out for Dan. Yeah, don't worry. He still happens to be in the village. I'll be sure to save him. Both you hurry. I'll go check inside the houses to see if there's anyone left behind. Faye, please go around the village and guide the stragglers to a safe location. All right, but Doc, you be careful, okay? You too, Faye. Yeah, once you end up playing the whole game, like I'm very against spoiling, spoilerizing things, but Doc is pretty much the biggest asshole in the game. Whoa. And Faye's 100% Shinji. Shinji, get in the robot. Faye, get in the robot. <laughs> DG Online. Welcome. Welcome, Raiders. And her OAG playing Xenogears on my PSX tour. You gonna defend in a shout out? I see you're playing this. You're playing Far Cry something. Far Cry 5. Oh yeah. Oh that go. I just started Xenogears. Which, one of my favorite games. For most, you know, no spoiling the story too, too much. Gonna have my volunteer to be named Choo Choo. You don't need to volunteer for that, Balmung. She was already gonna be named Choo Choo. Or, uh, yeah. Huh? Faye? Hello. Thank you. Wait, Faye! I've never played it before. Hope it's great. 
Wait, did you start at Far Cry 5? I've never played any of them. I don't know if they're related. Do not do this, Faye. You must not fight here. Barry! Well, Balma, it's because you're at that dangerous age. Blam, Ignis, Dialect, no piloting experience. Easy mode set. Synchronize the input interface with pilot's normal reflex time. Warning to pilot, combat mode, about to enter combat. 1200 units of fuel left. Utilize command ring in upper left of the screen to select attack. Then, whatever your buttons are to commence auto attack sequence. Power and fuel usage difference, yes, very old. I don't think you can run out of fuel early on. Let's just start punching things. You, you have a gun, you have a sword and a gun. So many hours, what's wrong with you? Jamba Juice Bully? Why are you Jamba Juice Bully? Why are you so evasive? Kill you then. Wish I would have got a single combo. I think what the hell Jamba Juice is? Are you being mean to people? Jamba juice? That would make sense. The gray hair incentive isn't that one. Well, you know, 100% I will actually, uh, every hour or so, mow down a Werther's original. Okay, we're level 5 now. Ghost? You are embarrassing me right now in front of Balmung, House of Whatever, and Ildan, and I do not appreciate that at all. Reinforcements, huh? Perfect time to take a break. I'm gonna take a quick break. This is my time to, well, 